In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to the sacred mysteries. All say, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord, your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances and decrees as they written in the law of Moses that you may succeed in whatever you do wherever you turn and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said if your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, 
splendor and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as said over all. Riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Let us all stand. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon also those who joined with us via live streaming. Sino nga ba sa atin ang makapagsasabi na hindi siya nagkukulang ng biyaya galing sa Diyos? Sila yung mga taong may malalim na pananampalataya. Sila yung mga taong may malalim na paniniwala sa Diyos. Na sa kabila ng kanilang pinagdadaanan sa buhay, sa kabila ng mga problema at suliranin na tila baga hindi na kaya nilang pasanin, ang Diyos pa din ang kanilang tinatawagan. And today's gospel, we are reminded na hindi nagkukulang ang Diyos ng mga biyaya. At alam natin iyan mga kapatid, kung paanong sa katapustapusan din naman ng ating buhay, wala din naman tayong madadala. Pero bakit nga ba may mga tao pa din na tila baga nagkukulang? Sila yung mga tao naman na tumitingin ng biyaya, hindi sa kanilang sarili, kundi biyaya ng iba. Kaya nga naikukumpara yung sarili sa iba. At doon tayo nagkakaroon ng idea ang tayo nagkukulang. Pero sa ating Ibanghelyo, ang sabi ng Panginoon kung paanong sinasabi ito sa kanya mga apostol at sinasabi din sa atin bilang mga, apost- mga alagad niya na ano ang kailangan lamang natin kapag naghahangad pa tayo ng gusto natin higit pa sa kailangan natin doon tayo nagkakaroon ng pakiramdam na tayo nagkukulang at iyan ang napakagandang paalala sa atin kami pong nagtalaga ng aming sarili 
sa Diyos, sa paglilingkod sa kanyang sambayanan, wala pa pong namamatay sa gutom. Napaka-generous ng tao nagbibigay. At wala pang namamatay sa kalam ng sikmura at gutom. Siguro may namamatay sa busog. <laughs> Bakit po? Sapagkat kung titingnan namin, sa dami ng inihahain ng tao, sa mga pari, mga madre at mga nagtalaga ng sarili sa Diyos, doon pala nagkakasakit ang isang tao kapag wala ng kontrol sa pagkain. Kaya walang namamatay sa gutom kundi sa busog. At yan din mga kapatid sa bawat isa sa atin, lalo tigit sa nagtalaga din ng sarili sa pagpapamilya at pagbubuo ng pamilya. Marahil, ang dami na ninyong pinagdadaanan sa buhay. At tuloy-tuloy pa din ang problemang dumadating, ito lamang ang pinapaalala sa atin sa, ng Diyos. Hindi nagkukulang ang Diyos ng biyaya. At yan din naman ang paalala sa atin ni Santo Padre Pio. Pray, hope, and don't worry. Sapagkat ang Diyos, alam niya ang kailangan natin sa bawat yugto ng ating buhay. What we need is to trust God. At sa banal na misang ito, hilingin natin sa Diyos ang biyaya na tayo'y laging nagtitiwala sa Kanya ano man ang pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay sapagkat magtatapos ng ating paglalakbay sa pagtitiwala natin sa pagpisa natin sa Diyos sa kalangitan sa buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. Amen. For those with envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Please remain seated. Let us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for Although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down, sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he has betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a house worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us all stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of and God, God take you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A 
our second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio and to support the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your generosity. Let us all stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio, all together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you, our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the most holy, to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Magsiupo muna po ang lahat para sa ilang patalastas. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw dito sa Pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad po namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humingi na inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala na rin na inyong pagbisita dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan o FW o kung kayo po ay may kasamang foreigners, doon po kayo susulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Kayo po ay gagabayan ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. At ngayon pong Sabado, ikatlo ng Pebrero ay unang Sabado ng buwan. Magkakaroon po tayo ng prosesyon sa karangalan ng Mahal na Birhen sa ganap na ikalima ng umaga. Ito po ay sisimulan sa harap ng Fountain of Hope. Ang mga sasama ay inaanyayahang magdala ng kandila. Ikalima, bukas, ikalawa ng Pebrero ay kapistahan ng paghahandog kay Jesus sa templo na kilala rin bilang pagdiriwang ng kandelabria. May pagbabasbas ng mga kandila sa lahat ng mga misa bukas. 
at ikaanim sa darating na ikalabing apat ng Pebrero ay simula na ng panahon ng Kwaresma. Mangyari pong pakidala ng inyong mga lumang palaspas dito sa simbahan na ating susunugin upang gamitin sa Mirkles ng Abo. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa at sana po'y mapanatili natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Maaari na po tayong tumayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos ang mga makapangyarihan upang tayo'y maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. Pakihawakan po ng inyong mga pababasbasang religious article. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa panalangin, mga rosaryo, imahin at dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal na gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang, mang, ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Manalangin po tayo, Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadaya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukot kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lulahati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Lulahati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Lulahati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.